Not everyone is interested in building a new home, but if you make the decision to build, you want to make sure that you choose the right builder. Stay tuned and I'll tell you how. Hi, I'm Kelly Nitz of the Kelly Nitz team. Thanks for joining me today. Building a new home isn't for everyone, but if you think you like the idea, here are a few critical questions that you should ask. You should ask your builder, how long have you been in the business? It's a very important question because experience means everything when building a home. You should also ask, could you provide a copy of your contractor's license and a copy of your insurance coverage, including liability and errors and omissions? That's very important also. What if somebody gets hurt on a job? You know, who's responsible for that? They better have insurance. And I would also ask, can I see some of the homes that you've been working on? Are there any spec homes or completed homes that they've done already that you can check the quality of the work? And then, you know, you would ask, can I have a copy of your contract? What's, you know, what level of a warranty do you provide? Is it a 10 year warranty? Um, what is involved? What happens if two years down the road, something major happens with the house? Is it covered? So you want to know what their warranty information is and get a copy of it. You really also want to ask, how will the construction be supervised? Will it be a foreman on a job or a supervisor? And are you allowed to go on site and check the quality of the work and to make sure that the builders are putting their best effort forward? So that's a very important um, thing to ask your builder. You also want to ask how much are, is a change or will a change be? What if you decide that you want a, a different color of paint or um, um, different sheathing or something involved with the construction process, how much will that cost you in the middle of a project? You also want to make sure you want to know who their subcontractors are and their material suppliers and maybe get a list of them and their phone numbers so that you have them available if you need them. You also want to ask if they could provide you with a list of references of other people that have bought their homes, similar homes to the one that you're building. Another good question is how many pre-sold spec homes have you done? Um, just to get an, a good idea and has some knowledge about their experience. And you would want to know also if they have had any other partners in their company or had worked under a different name. That would be a good thing to know. You might want to ask how many projects do you currently have going? You want to know if they have more than um, two or three. You want to just kind of get a gauge about how much time they're going to be able to spend on yours so that you can meet all the timely guidelines that you have in your mind as far as the date of your move-in date. That's always important. So then, Maybe sometimes you know you might want to ask if they have a bank reference just to make sure that they're financially sound or a business reference so that you know that they're not going to go belly up right in the middle of a project and unfortunately these things do happen occasionally and so you just want to make sure that's not going to happen to you. And also maybe a personal credit report or a financial statement just something to give you the confidence that that's not going to happen. As you can see building a home involves some additional knowledge to be successful and if you have any questions, I'm always here to help. And I'd like to thank you for allowing me to share this information with you today. If you liked it and found it helpful, click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos as they become available, subscribe below and you'll be notified when the new videos are available so you can view them. And finally, if you have any questions or comments about the building process, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to return answers to those questions as soon as possible. Thanks again.